Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. No good horror film is complete without a quick trip to the attic. Little nooks and hidden areas of our house that don't get much daylight are perfect hiding places for our secrets. Whether it's your stash, your treasure map, or your scary photos of deformed family members, you'd be surprised. From animal cadavers to unfortunately placed Halloween costumes and more, here are the top 10 scariest things found in attics. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and in the comments section, tell us what you wouldn't want to find in an attic. Number 10. Not your average pest. Finding animals in forgotten areas of your house is nothing new. Termites, ants, rodents, wasps, you name it. Pest control has dealt with it. What about large birds? Imagine running up to your attic to grab old baby pictures your grandma asks you to bring down. You finally get up to the dusty old room and find yourself face to face with this. From the look of this image, this bird is not only quite large, but has also been dead for a very long time. There's virtually no tissue left on the animal, just a frame of what was once a bird, perhaps looking for some food or shelter, and ended up getting stuck in the attic. That's one of the many downsides to crawl spaces and attics. Once you're in, it can be very difficult to get out. Number 9. Baby Photos Speaking of baby photos, usually old family photos can be fun to look at together. There's always the one time someone was caught on camera doing something embarrassing, or that one relative almost no one actually knows. But does your family have a terrifying baby picture in the attic? I mean, who is this even? The child looks to be sick or perhaps suffering from some sort of birth defect. Though it's sad, think about finding the photo and not knowing who the baby was or why it's even in your attic. I don't know about you, but I'm going to stop looking through old photos just in case. No surprises for me, thank you. Number 8. Ammo, Grenades, and Pennies Weapons are another common place for things found in attics, which I have to say, I think attics are a great place for guns. You can store them in a nice airtight box so they don't get dusty, and it's almost unnecessary to have a lock and key, because who really goes up there anyway? But maybe try the lock and key just in case. This is also applicable if, like these people, you have a room in your house full of ammunition, grenades, and collections of pennies. Hmm, all very dangerous, I'm afraid. Imagine being hit with a penny. The pain! I'm not sure what they did with the goods they found, but I feel like I would have called some sort of foundation for lost weaponry. Yeah, you're right. That sounds really shady. Maybe just ignore it. Number 7. Snakes Was this more like what you were thinking? If you thought Snakes on a Plane was bad, you're right, that was a horrible film. But also, how terrible is it that these homeowners in Idaho found out that there were snakes living in their house. Not one or two, not even a family of snakes, but a plethora of snakes, snakes of all sizes, one big ball of snakes. Okay, you get it. Not only could the owners of the house hear the snakes, but they could also smell them, and the water from their pipes tasted of the same smell. Ugh, excuse me while I gag. The snakes didn't stay hidden either, there were days when the family would catch up to 40 of them. It's not shocking that they didn't stay in the house for long. Number 6. Way Too Much Money Need a palate cleanser after that rough one? How about imagining that in your attic you could find a large load of cash? That's what happened to a man in Utah after he bought his first home, that lucky schmuck. As you do when you just bought a new toy, you check out all the cool things it has in it. He found an access panel to an attic and investigated. Boxes and boxes of stuff later, 
he found $45,000 neatly rolled and forgotten about. Now, this to me would be terrifying. Has this man seen no country for old men? Finding money never turns out well. People will know. They'll put a tracker on you. They'll hunt you down. And they will kill you. It seems like that didn't cross his mind, nor did keeping the money. The Utah man donated the money to the previous owner's family after his recent passing and moved on as if he never found it. Wow, what a saint. Number five, this mug. A lot of mugs that people buy are incredibly unnecessary. World's best dad, you drink that coffee full of lies every morning, hmm? How about those souvenir mugs? You went to Mexico and didn't bring back tequila, but rather thought of a mug? They're so lame. Except for our top 10 archive mugs, those are stylish. This mug, though, is one that not only would you never want to find in any dark room of any house, building, office, or otherwise, you'd also never want to buy it. Just why? From the look of it, it's somewhat artisanal. Someone made it with their own hands and, apparently, from someone else's dentures. At the bottom, once you finish your tea, you'll find a ceramic tongue type of protrusion coming out at you from the bottom of the mug. OMG, who did this? Put it back in the attic where it was birthed. Number four, a body. You knew we couldn't finish this list without listing a body. Yes, I'm sure lots of bodies have been found inside of attics. I just can't shake the scene where you're going into an attic for the sole reason that it seems to be the source of a really bad smell everyone keeps talking about. Suddenly, the lock breaks and you're in, and the smell is out. There, in the decay of your children's old toys and the furniture that didn't sell at the garage sale, is a body. This particular body was that of a child, and it was found in 2016 in Richmond, Virginia, in a vacant apartment. It's unknown how the child died or how they got into the attic. It was later sent to the medical examiner to determine the cause of death and how long it had been there before its discovery. Number three, an evil man's skull. In the attic of Jacques Ballinger, the famous chocolatier, you'll find a variety of old things. Some historic, some just old, like a forgotten sandwich. But what about the skull of an infamously evil monarch? Henry IV's skull was actually in someone's attic. Where's the rest of the body, you ask? Well, his grave was thrashed and ransacked almost two centuries post-mortem, and his head was separated and kept as a trophy, probably. Later, a French couple bought the skull at an auction, and it changed hands again from them to Ballinger for 5,000 francs in the 1950s, which would now be almost $50,000. Still pretty cheap for a king's head. Notorious for being pretty evil? I gotta say, I wouldn't want the bad energy around. Just saying. Number 2. A Grim Reaper Okay, so we've gone from super expected to animalistic and beyond. How about fatal? That's right. This person ran into the Grim Reaper in their attic. Not only is the costume heart attack inducing, but it's also standing upright in the middle of an unfinished attic with furniture thrown around without a whole lot of thought. This looks like the scene you'd find right before you, well, die. The next time you think about where to put your Halloween costumes, I'll drop this life hack. Don't hang them up as if they're standing upright in the creepiest room of your house. That's not good for anyone involved, and one year later, you'll find yourself going into your attic and finding out you scared the crap out of yourself. Thanks, Past Jim. Number 1. A Ouija Board You knew it was coming. You knew it had to be on the list. This Reddit user claimed to have found a Ouija board in the attic of their home. It looked authentic and made of wood. You know, the board you'll find in every terrifying movie ever made? That's the one. Whether it's real or not, no one wants to go near a Ouija board and find out if it really does help us communicate with the other side 
or with creatures with whom we never intended on communicating in the first place. Seems like this Reddit user felt the same way because they said they never disturbed it or attempted to use it in any way. Apparently, you really shouldn't burn it, so it seems like they did the right thing. Thanks for watching. Ever find anything strange in your attic or some other storage area of your home? Let us know in the comments section now. And before you venture off to discover a plethora of other top 10 archive videos stored neatly for you here, be sure to subscribe, click the bell, give this video a like, and share it with all your friends. Or put it in their attic.